This is Rhonda Brooks for Farm Journal Media. I'm with Missy Bauer, Associate Field Agronomist. And Missy, I know something you want to talk to farmers about today is uh, yield loss and what to shoot for when they're harvesting. Yeah, we want to pay attention to several things when we're harvesting to make sure we're not losing too many bushels. So I typically will go out with a, just a square foot and we'll throw it on the ground in several different spots. And inside this square foot, we just want to count and see how many kernels we have in this square foot. In this example here, we have two kernels in this square foot. Two kernels in that square foot is equal to one bushel per acre yield loss. So now the other thing we want to determine is, is this loss coming from the head or is it coming out of the back of the combine? So typically what we'll do if we're checking for header loss is pull into an area, uh, harvest it a little way, stop and then back up and look at that area where just the head had covered only. The second thing we want to do is actually look into the rows where the combine could possibly be blowing it out and just take a look where we haven't harvested yet and see whether or not we have any kernels that are that are laying in there as well to see if that's something that's coming out of the back of the combine. So again, if you're checking your loss out in the field, take a square foot, throw it out several times. Two kernels in a square foot is equal to one bushel. So then what's the action step if, it, if it's more than that? Well, if it's more than that, we're going to go back to our combine and just start trying to adjust settings. For example, if we got a lot of header loss, a lot of times we'll try to slow that head speed down to reduce that. It's also a function of moisture. The drier that corn is, the higher chances we have of more header loss. It's harder to control. Thanks, Missy.